Hi guys, this is Harish Gopal. Welcome to the channel Technology and Automation. In this video, I am going to explain you about a string data type and the functions of some tools from the string palette. So let's move towards the lab view window. Okay, click on this blank VI. Okay. And then press Ctrl and T. Okay. Now, uh, first we understand string means what. Uh, string means it is a set of characters or uh, I can say that a series of characters. That's it. Okay. Now, let's see how we can create string in this lab view window or how many types of strings we can create. So, go to the uh, control palette and click on these uh, string and path palette. And you can see this is a string control right here this is a string control guys okay write anything like uh, India is my country okay yeah now increase the size of this display now is it good now uh, I can say that this is one type of string or st display string display okay now right click and uh, you can see visible item find terminals the menu, uh, sub menu bars but here you can see the four types of display that means we can create four types of display so this is the normal display now here is also three types of display available that is code display password display and hex display now let's try to um, uh, create this type of display also so first uh, copy this normal display and paste here now this is our normal display okay now come to the second display and right click now you can see there is a, a name code display if i click on this code display now you can see after uh, click on this code display uh, after each word you can see a backslash yes backslash yes that means what a dis this display represent memory okay now this is the third string and if I right click on this third string and click on this password display. Now you can see each character from the uh, string converts into asterisk. Okay. And this is called as password display. You know guys, um, we can use this type of password displays in the security systems or uh, in the exam portals. Okay. So this is a password type of display. Now the fourth display is what hex display. Okay, you can also we can create array of string. So for that, right click, go to the data containers and click on this array. Okay, and go to the string palette and click on this string control and put into this array and write something like name for each. Now increase increase some rows. Okay. And write here like any name. Yeah. Change the position of this array string. Okay. Now right now we need only these normal display. We don't need this uh, three types of display. So uh, uh, select this display and delete it. Okay. Yeah. Now let's uh, understand the functions of tools, tools from the array palette. So for that, right click, go to the string palette. You can see this is string palette. Okay. Click on the spin button. Change the position. Now this is a string length. You know the function of this a string length. Close this. Okay. Come to the near. Uh, keep this near. Right click on this uh, length and first click on this visible item so that we can uh, see the name string length. Now connect this string to the available string. You now the function of this string length is that uh, it display the length of the uh, string. Okay. Mm, let's create indicator here. Hmm. And change the position of this length display in the front. Now click on this run button. Now you can see 
uh, in this uh, the length of this string is 19 means how 19 character are present in this string okay now again go to the string palette and click on this concatenate strings okay and kept here right click on this concatenate string click on this visible item and label now you can see the name concatenate string if i talk about the function of this concatenate string so the this tool replace multiple uh, strings into the single string for example if supposed uh, we have these uh, uh, strings array you can see here is a multiple strings are in this array if suppose you want to convert this multiple uh, string array into the single array that time we can use this concatenate string let's try to do the programming here so first uh, we we will convert these um, array into the cluster and then we will use unbundle by name so for that right click go to the cluster palette click on this uh, uh, array to cluster now first convert this array into cluster okay now again go to the cluster palette click on this unbundle by name and now connect this terminal input cluster to the unbundle by name ah, here is a, a six from zero to six element and present so increase the element of this uh, unbundle by name where is the element here yeah. hmm. from zero to six now oh, change the position of this concatenate string also increase the element of this concatenate string also now connect each element to the cluster okay now remove and click indicator here in the position of this concatenate string indicator select this change the position okay. hmm. Hmm. increase the size now click on this run button now you can see we have successfully convert the array string into the single string Rish, Manish, Ram, Yash, Pranay, Neil and Johnny okay so I think uh, this is enough for this video uh, about remain about the function of this remaining tools from string palette I will explain in the next video okay